pass out, lose consciousness or distribute something. Did you see what happened at the party last night? I heard it got wild. I left early so I missed most of it. What went down? Well, Sarah had a bit too much to drink and ended up passing out on the couch. Oh no, is she okay? I hope someone took care of her. Yeah, her friends were there and they made sure she was safe. They even grabbed a blanket and passed it out to her. That's good to hear. I'm glad she had friends looking out for her. Yeah, it could have been a lot worse. But that wasn't the only thing. Someone also passed out party favors to all the guests. Party favors? That sounds like a fun touch to the party. It was. They passed out little gift bags with candies and small trinkets to everyone as a thank you for coming. That's a nice way to show appreciation to the guests. I'm sorry I missed all the excitement. Don't worry. There will be plenty of opportunities for more parties in the future. Can you repeat that? was explaining the new project timeline, and I mentioned that we need to finalize the budget by next week. Wait, can you repeat that? Did you say we need to finalize the budget by next week? Yes, that's correct. It's part of the new schedule to ensure we stay on track. Hum, that seems like a tight deadline. Can we push it back a bit? Unfortunately, we can't. The client needs the budget finalized to approve the project funding. I see. Well, I'll do my best to expedite the process on my end. Great. I appreciate your cooperation. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Will do. Thanks for clarifying. And I'll get started right away. Perfect. Let's aim to meet that deadline and keep things moving smoothly. In the Articraft Store Look at these handmade ceramics. I'm searching for a unique gift for my sister. She loves artisan crafts. These vases are beautiful. The detailing is exquisite. How about one of these? They are lovely, but I think she'd prefer something more functional. Maybe a set of mugs? Good idea. These mugs with the intricate patterns are stunning. Each one is different. I love that they're all unique. Oh, and these handwoven baskets would go perfectly in her living room. Definitely. The colors are so vibrant. Handcrafted items have such a personal touch. You're right. I'll get a set of mugs and one of these baskets. She's going to love them. It's a thoughtful gift. This store is a treasure trove for unique finds. To be a Soho. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that can make sense. They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous. But I don't give a I've been thinking about making the leap to become a Soho worker. That's a big decision. What's prompting the change? Well, 
The idea of having more flexibility and avoiding the daily commute is really appealing. Plus, it could save me money in the long run. Those are some great advantages, but there are challenges too. Have you considered the potential isolation and distractions when working from home? Absolutely, that's my main concern. I might miss the social aspect of the office, and I know staying focused at home can be tough. You can mitigate that by setting up a dedicated workspace, creating a schedule, and making an effort to stay connected with colleagues virtually. Good points. Also, I've heard about tax implications for Soho businesses. Any advice there? It's important to research tax regulations in your area and consider consulting with a tax professional to ensure you're compliant and taking advantage of any available deductions. Thanks for the tips. It's a big step, but I'm eager to explore the Soho lifestyle. I get rid of the devils, they think that I am a rebel, I think they want me to settle, there's nobody on my... Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Don't discard valuable or useful things when getting rid of the unnecessary. We're redesigning our website, and I think we need a complete overhaul. Hold on. Before you throw the baby out with the bathwater, let's assess what's working. But the whole design looks outdated and cluttered. Sure, but there might be valuable content or features we should keep. I see your point. We've invested a lot in the current content. Exactly. Let's identify what's still relevant and useful to our users. Okay, we'll salvage the valuable content and functionalities, but the overall look definitely needs a refresh. Agreed. We can modernize the design while preserving what's valuable. Thanks for the reminder. It's essential not to lose sight of what's working in the pursuit of something new. You're welcome. Sometimes, a balance between innovation and preservation is the way to go. Let's work on this redesign with that principle in mind. Cut off, disconnect or remove something abruptly. Have you heard from John lately? I tried calling him, but it went straight to voicemail. Yeah, he's been having some phone issues. His service provider cut off his connection due to some billing problems. That's frustrating. How did that happen? Did he not pay his bills on time? Apparently, there was an issue with his auto payment setup. It got cut off, and he didn't notice until he lost service. That's unfortunate. It's easy for things like that to slip through the cracks. Exactly. It's a good reminder to double check our automatic payments and make sure they don't get cut off unexpectedly. Agreed. I'll review mine too. It can be quite inconvenient when your services get cut off, especially when you rely on your phone for work and communication. John had to spend quite some time sorting it out with the provider to get his service cut back on. I can imagine the hassle. Hopefully, he's got it all resolved now. Yeah, he's back online. But it was a good lesson on the importance of keeping an eye on those bills to prevent getting cut off. That's the way it is. I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me I heard they're increasing the prices for public transportation again. Yeah, it's frustrating. It seems like it's getting more expensive every year. I know, it's tough for commuters, but I guess that's the way it is. True, 
There's not much we can do about it. And did you hear about the new policy at work? They're implementing stricter dress code rules. Ugh, really? I like the flexibility we had before. Same here, but it seems they want a more professional image. That's the way it is now. I suppose we'll have to adapt and update our wardrobes. It's a bit annoying, but if it's for the company's image, we have to go with it. You're right. Sometimes, we just have to accept that's the way it is and move on. Yeah, there's no mercy in this world, just hunger, thirsty person. Go through, experience, or endure a difficult situation. I heard you had a rough time with your health lately. How are you feeling now? Yeah, I had to go through a pretty challenging period. I was diagnosed with a serious illness, but I'm feeling better now after the treatment. I can imagine how tough that must have been. Going through a health scare is never easy. How did you cope with it? It was definitely a roller coaster of emotions. I leaned on my family and close friends for support. Having a strong support system made it easier to go through the treatments and recovery. That's great to hear that you had people there for you. How has this experience changed your perspective on life? Going through something like this made me appreciate the little things in life more. I've learned not to take my health for granted and to focus on what truly matters. It's incredible how challenging experiences like these can reshape our outlook. I'm glad to see you're on the path to recovery. Thank you. I'm just grateful to have made it through and to be here, talking about it. It's a reminder of how resilient we can be when we have to go through adversity. It's my pleasure. Thank you so much for helping me move all this furniture. It's been a lot of work. It's my pleasure. I'm always happy to lend a hand. You really went above and beyond today. I couldn't have done it without you. No problem at all. I know moving can be tough, and I'm glad I could assist. Well, I owe you one. Is there anything I can do to repay you for your help? Don't worry about it. I'm just happy to help out a friend. You're too kind. Let me at least treat you to dinner tonight as a token of my appreciation. That's really not necessary. But if you insist, I won't say no to a meal. Great. It's the least I can do. Thanks again for everything. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Blow up, explode or become very angry. I heard there was an accident at the gas station last night. What happened? Yeah, it was pretty scary. One of the fuel tanks had a leak, and it almost blew up. Fortunately, the fire department arrived in time to prevent it. That's a relief. A fuel tank blowing up would have been a disaster. How did they manage to contain it? They acted quickly, shut off the pumps, and evacuated the area. It could have been so much worse if they hadn't. I can't even imagine the panic that must have caused. It's incredible how well they handled it. Indeed, they did a great job. It's in situations like that when you realize the importance of emergency preparedness. Absolutely. So, what happened to the gas station owner? Did they blow up with anger about the situation? Surprisingly, no. They were very understanding and grateful that the damage was minimal. They didn't blow up with anger at all which was a pleasant surprise. Well, that's good to hear. It's a testament to their calm demeanor in a crisis. 
Definitely. They handled the situation well without blowing up in anger. Smoke abatement. Have you heard about the recent efforts for smoke abatement in our city? Yes, I've seen some news about it. It's about time they take action to reduce air pollution. Exactly. The air quality has been getting worse, and it's affecting our health. I completely agree. But how are they planning to address it? They're implementing stricter regulations on industrial emissions and promoting the use of cleaner energy sources. They also encourage people to use public transportation or carpool. That's a step in the right direction. It's crucial to raise awareness about the harmful effects of air pollution. Absolutely. It's not just about government actions. Individuals should also take responsibility by reducing activities like burning trash and cigarettes. Education and community involvement are key. Let's hope these efforts lead to better air quality and a healthier environment for us all. Agreed. We all have a role to play in smoke abatement for a cleaner and safer city. I'm just kidding. Did you hear that the boss wants us to work on Saturday, too? Seriously? That's ridiculous. I have plans for the weekend. I'm just kidding. The boss mentioned it, but it's not mandatory. Relax. Oh, you got me there. You had me worried for a moment. Ha <laughs> ha, sorry about that. I couldn't resist. Anyway, I'm glad it's not mandatory. I could use a break. Yeah, me too. It's been a hectic week. Well, let's hope we can enjoy our weekend as planned. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. Give away, donate or provide something for free. Hey, I heard you're moving and need to clear out some stuff. What are you going to do with all your old furniture and clothes? Yeah, I'm downsizing. I've decided to give away most of my furniture to a local charity. They help families in need. That's a great way to declutter and help others at the same time. What about your clothes? Have you thought about what to do with them? I'm planning to give away the clothes that don't fit, or I no longer wear to a local thrift store. They sell them at affordable prices, and the proceeds support a good cause. It's a thoughtful approach. Anything else you're planning to give away? I also have some old books and kitchen appliances I no longer use. I'm going to give those away to friends and family who might find them useful. You're being quite generous with all these giveaways. It's a wonderful way to ensure your belongings find new homes and continue to be useful. Thanks. It feels good to give away things I no longer need to those who can benefit from them. It's a win-win for everyone. Changing seats.
I just realized they seated us in different rows. Do you think we could ask someone to switch seats with us? It's worth a try. Maybe we can ask the flight attendant for help. They might have better luck finding someone willing to switch. Good idea. I'll flag one down. Excuse me, we were wondering if it's possible to change seats so we can sit together. Let me check the seating chart. It looks like there are a couple of open seats. You can move to row 14. That's great. Thank you so much for your help. This is much better. I'm glad we asked. Now we can enjoy the flight together. Yeah, it's always more comfortable traveling with someone you know. Let's get settled in. You're so lucky. I just found out I won the lottery. You're so lucky. That's incredible news. How much did you win? It's a substantial amount. Enough to make a significant change in my life. Wow, that's amazing. What are you going to do with the money? Well, first, I'm going to pay off all my debts and mortgage. Then, I plan to invest wisely and maybe take a dream vacation. That sounds like a great plan. I'm genuinely happy for you. Thanks. It still feels surreal. I never thought this would happen to me. It's the kind of thing most people can only dream of. Enjoy every moment of it. I will, and I'll make sure to share some of the good fortune with those who need it too. That's very generous of you. You're so lucky. Drop off, deliver or deposit something or someone. I heard you're going to the post office. Can you drop off this package for me on your way? Sure, no problem. I'll drop it off at the post office when I go there later today. Thanks a lot. It's an important document that needs to be sent out as soon as possible. I'll make sure to drop it off today so it gets there on time. Speaking of deliveries, did you ever get a chance to drop off that old furniture at the charity shop like you mentioned? Not yet. I've been busy with work, but I plan to drop it off this weekend. It's just been sitting in the garage, and they could put it to good use. That's a thoughtful idea. It's great that you're willing to drop off items that others might benefit from. Absolutely. I don't want it to go to waste. I'll make sure to drop it off on Saturday. Thank you for helping out. It's important to support organizations that can make good use of our old stuff. You're welcome. I'm happy to drop it off and contribute in a small way. It's the least I can do to help others. You can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. Achieving something often requires sacrifices or hardships. The process of starting a new business is tough, isn't it? It definitely is. You can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. True, but it feels like we're sacrificing a lot to get this off the ground. Well, that's the nature of entrepreneurship. Success often demands hard work and sacrifices. I just hope it's all worth it in the end. It can be challenging, but the satisfaction of building something of your own can be very rewarding. I guess you're right. We knew it wouldn't be easy when we started. Exactly. Keep pushing through the difficulties, and eventually, we'll reap the rewards. 
Thanks for the encouragement. Let's keep breaking those eggs and make the best omelet we can. That's the spirit. We'll get there one step at a time. Find out, discover, or learn something. Hey, have you heard about the new manager that's joining our team next week? No, I'm out of the loop on that one. I haven't found out anything about it. What can you tell me? I just found out this morning. His name is Mark, and he's coming from our company's branch in Chicago. I think he has a strong background in project management. That's interesting. I'll have to find out more about him once he starts. I wonder how it will affect our team dynamics. Yeah, it will be a change for sure. I'll make it a point to find out more details from HR, so we're well informed before he arrives. That sounds like a good plan. It's important to find out as much as we can about new team members to ensure a smooth transition. Definitely. I'll keep you updated as I find out more information. In the meantime, Let's prepare to welcome him. Agreed. Finding out as much as we can about his background and expectations will help us make him feel welcome and integrated into the team. Great. I'll find out what I can and share it with you soon. Thanks. I appreciate it. Let's make the onboarding process as smooth as possible for him. Traveling by train. Do you think we're on the right platform for the 10.30 train to Paris? Let me check the board again. Yes, it says Platform 6, and this is where we are. It should arrive in about 15 minutes. Great! Did you download the train app? It might have real-time updates in case of any delays. I do have the app. It's showing on time. We should be good. By the way, did you get a window seat? Yes. I thought it'd be nice to see the countryside as we travel. I can switch with you if you'd like. No, it's fine. I brought a book to read. Plus, I'm looking forward to the Cape car. I heard they have good coffee. That sounds perfect. A nice coffee while watching the scenery sounds like a relaxing trip. Don't cry over spilled milk. Don't worry about things that have already happened and can't be changed. I can't believe I missed the deadline for that important report. Well, don't cry over spilled milk. What's done is done. I know. But it was such a crucial project. Dwelling on it won't change anything now. Focus on finding a solution or making up for it. You're right. I need to figure out how to address this with my manager. That's a good start. Take responsibility and discuss a plan to mitigate the impact. I hate making mistakes like this. Everyone makes mistakes. The key is learning from them and not repeating them. Thanks for the advice. I'll work on being more organized in the future. No problem. Keep in mind that we all face setbacks, but it's how we handle them that matters most. Wise words. I appreciate your support. Anytime. We all need reminders from time to time not to dwell on the past. Postgraduates Fever Hey, 
I've been feeling overwhelmed lately with this postgraduate program. It's like a feverish roller coaster. I totally get it. Grad school can be intense. What's been bothering you the most? The constant deadlines and research pressure. It feels like I'm drowning in assignments. I went through that too. Try breaking tasks into smaller, manageable chunks and create a study schedule. It can help you stay on top of things. Yeah, I need to get organized. Plus, I'm worried about my thesis research. It's challenging to find a unique topic. Research topics can be tricky. Talk to your professors and peers for guidance. They might suggest something you hadn't thought of. Thanks for the advice. Also, I miss having a social life. Balancing work and personal time is tough. Absolutely, but don't forget to take breaks and enjoy some downtime. It's essential for your mental well being. You're right. I need to find that balance. Thanks for listening and understanding the postgraduate fever. Cut in, interrupt, or join a conversation or activity. So, I was telling everyone about the new project we're launching next month and how it will affect our timelines. Sorry to cut in, but I just received an urgent email from the client. They're requesting some changes to the project scope. No problem, that's important. Let's hear what the client needs, and we can discuss how it might affect our project. They want to cut back on a few features to meet their budget constraints, so it might impact our project schedule. I appreciate you cutting in to update us. We'll need to assess the changes and see if we can accommodate them without delaying the project too much. Sorry to cut in, but I overheard you talking about project delays. I think we might need to review our resource allocation to meet the new timeline. Thanks for cutting in with your input. That's a good point. Let's schedule a meeting to discuss these changes and how we can adjust our resources accordingly. Agreed. We need to address these issues as a team. Thanks for cutting in, Ruby. You're welcome. It's important to stay on top of project adjustments, and I'm always here to help when I can. Make up, create or invent something, like an excuse or a story. Have you heard why Tom was so late to the meeting this morning? No, I have no idea. He didn't mention anything to me. Well, I overheard him talking to his manager earlier, and he had to make up a pretty wild excuse. Really? What did he make up? He claimed his car broke down on the way to the office, and he had to hitchhike with a stranger to get here. That sounds pretty far-fetched. I wonder why he felt the need to make up such a story. I'm not sure but it seemed like he was in a rush to explain his lateness and didn't want to admit the real reason. I hope everything is okay with him. It's not a good idea to make up stories at work. It can damage your credibility. You're right. Honesty is usually the best policy. I'll keep an eye out to see if there's anything going on with Tom that he's not sharing. Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe he's going through a tough time and felt the need to make up an excuse to avoid discussing it. Talking about jobs and occupations. Hey, I heard you got a new job. Congratulations. Thanks. Yeah. 
I recently started as a marketing manager at a tech startup. It's been quite exciting so far. That's awesome. What does your role involve? Well, I'll be overseeing the company's online presence, developing marketing strategies, and managing the marketing team. It's a lot of responsibility, but I'm up for the challenge. Sounds impressive. I'm still at my old job as a graphic designer. It's been pretty steady, but I've been thinking about exploring new opportunities. That's great to hear you're considering a change. What kind of roles are you interested in? I'm leaning towards user experience design, or maybe even redevelopment. I've always been drawn to the tech side of things. That's a fantastic direction to explore, especially with your design skills. Let me know if you need any advice or connections in the tech industry. Thanks, I appreciate that. Your new job sounds exciting, and I'm happy for you. Traffic Jams Ugh, I got stuck in another traffic jam today. It seems like it's getting worse every day. Tell me about it. Traffic congestion can be so frustrating. What route were you on? I was on the freeway, and it was just bumper to bumper for miles. It added an extra hour to my commute. That's rough. Have you considered using public transportation or carpooling to avoid these daily traffic nightmares? I have. But public transportation doesn't work well for my schedule, and finding a reliable carpool is challenging. It's a common problem in urban areas. Maybe it's time for some city planning improvements to alleviate traffic congestion and invest in better public transportation options. I couldn't agree more. Less traffic would make our lives so much easier and reduce environmental impact. Absolutely. Let's hope our city takes some action soon to tackle these never-ending traffic jams. <laughs>